Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to install the client-side version of Office. Of course, you have the online version, the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, online versions as part of your Office 365, but you also have a license for the client install. So you can click on Install Office 2016 here. You can also click Other Installs and get a list of the different uh, client-side applications that you want. So the most important choice here is which language you want. An interesting thing is that if you want the spelling for another language, you can run this twice. So if you install English first, and then you want to install Swedish, for example, to get the Swedish language spelling, then you simply go back here and select the Swedish one. Notice that you have a whole bunch of languages here, and that will only count as one install. So this is the Office 365 Plus with 2016 apps. So you can also install the old one if you need to want that. You also have some links here for Skype for Business. You have the phone and tablet versions of the Office Suites. And also you have the um, info path and SharePoint designer. So I'm going to start by installing the Office 365 Pro Plus with 2016. I'm just going to click install here. This uses a technology called Click to Run. As you see, the download is only 3.62 megabytes. I'm going to run that there. Here I get a little guide saying what I need to do, and I'll just click the yes. And this 3.6 megabyte file starts downloading the rest. That's what the click to run does. So that's going to take a while depending on your download speed. And then you're going to get Office on your computer. What you need to do once it's installed is actually activate it. So I'll put a break here. And I'll show you how to do that once the install is done. So there we go. A couple of minutes later and Office is installed. So I'm going to close this wizard here. And now I should have Word installed here. Let's see what happens here. Yes, that was the add-on, the Link Browser Helper add-on. I'll enable that, and that will allow me to click on phone numbers in the web browser. So uh, I should have Word here. Yes, I do. And if I start Word, I should get the option to sign in. Here we go. Here's the option to sign in. So I'll do that. And what happens here is that Microsoft Word and the whole Microsoft Office package goes out to uh, check if I have a valid license in my, in my Office 365. It does that about once a month. So you need to be connected to the internet for Word to continue work. Otherwise, it goes into something called limited usability mode. And you will only be able to read documents, not edit or save them. There we go. Signing in here with a password. So this also, of course, includes updates. There you go, I'm signed in. And what happens now, if I just start with a blank document, I also am able to save as. You'll notice that I have the OneDrive and I also have the default sites available there. So I can save directly to my OneDrive and to my SharePoint sites. So uh, that's what happens when I activate. So that concludes the demo on how to install and activate Office 2016 or Office 365 Pro Plus as it's also known. Thank you for watching this demo.